So like I said, in tonight's video, I'm not going to hold you guys from that long, but there are definitely some things I would like to get into, and we're talking about this situation first with Miss Hannah Smith. And if you guys are unaware who Hannah Smith is, she is one of the contestants off of the recent season of Love Island, and she was... She, she did her thing. When she was on the show, I liked her. I thought that she was kind of, I think that she stayed in her own little lane. She wasn't one of my favorites. Um, I'll just say that and leave it there. That's the nicest thing that I can say right now, okay? But what irks me is that she just got in trouble for doing a rant on a police officer. Well, actually she got arrested for um, assault on a police officer and gave this long rant and basically just i don't know if she was drunk and i don't care if she was drunk because even when at my drunk stages i've never went outside to a different race and start calling them racial slurs and saying that i ate them and i wanted to bleep them i've never went outside and said that no matter how drunk i've gotten or anything like that and to tell you the truth i'm not just like drunk don't get drunk like that it's only been two times in my life where i've got messed up like that and neither one of those times have i ever ever disrespected anybody in those states for you to be on a show or to have been on the show and have been kicking it and been lightweight good friends and want to be good friends with the black girls on the show and then for you to come out and start saying all these racial slurs calling the woman fat calling her out her name calling talking about her color and stuff like that saying you wanted to do other things that were really you know ain't no get back like, I don't know what would ail you to come out and say something like that. And I don't care if you want to say, oh, I was intoxicated because some bit of that intoxication was some truth. You are a messed up individual and you can say, oh, well, you know, everybody messes up once. This was a big mess up, especially with the platform that she just left. And then for you to have the audacity, the audacity to call this police officer fat and other names when you didn't appreciate it when you were on the show when people were calling you mother love you didn't appreciate that you didn't appreciate when people were calling you big on the show and to be honest with you i thought that there was nothing wrong with you while you were on the show yes you were indeed bigger than the other girls but i didn't see nothing wrong with that but you got your butt out there took your Zempix or whatever else you took allegedly and now you you, you feel good because you lost all this weight so now you're throwing digs at somebody else when you was just upset because certain men weren't choosing you in this love island circle because of your weight. On top of what you were doing. But it was your weight. That's what's really going on. We're going to keep a buck a buck. Let's keep a buck a buck. They wasn't messing with you. It was more fit, beautiful women in the house. And that's what they did. And honestly, I'm glad you didn't make it to the end. Especially for something like this to come across. And I really want to know what the heck were your, you know, your co-stars thinking now that you said these things and that they have come out. Because they have did a poll and we've seen Love Island and everybody who had something to do with y'all being on this show, you know, really were invested in you guys and paid attention. Took screenshots of everything about how everybody's account was before you guys got on the show. And then they showed us what you guys account are now. And some of it is still not accurate because some of the girls and some of the guys, like the, the final, oh yeah, those guys have just, they're in millions now. It's nothing near of what they thought or what they projected it was going to be. But even you, who didn't make it to the end, your platform was, it's, it, it grew. It grew tremendously. And for you to come out and then say some nasty crap like that, and it's supposed to be because you were drunk? Like, that doesn't mean anything. I'm going to move on to this Diddy situation, okay? So, allegedly, there's a gentleman who says that he was orally blanked by Diddy in a Macy's some years back. And now Macy's is being sued for this incident taking place. And honestly, they should be sued. You should be sued and cough up the money. I don't know if Macy's was paid. You know, like how that hotel was paid, the 50K? I don't know if Macy's was paid. Probably not. But I know one thing. These allegations and if this stuff really happened with one of their employees at the time and they knew that he was in this room and all this other kind of crap, whatever the case may be, they didn't do a good enough job when they were doing their reporting and it wasn't handled right. 
So honestly, just like how Cassie, you know, hotel was paid off and then she still later on came and was able to collect her earnings. I think that if this really did happen to the gentleman, he should be able to collect his earnings. It's unfortunate that he had to wait till all this other crap came forth. It's like, now I'm really thinking about these victims and stuff like that. You seen the pictures with J-Lo and her boobs all out and Jay-Z. They got all these pictures and stuff coming abroad nowadays. And that dark web is something difficult. Like, it has everything on that thing. And what's really, what's really sad to, to put into pictures and perspective is that all of these people who, the lady who was shot, this man who was accusing, you know, of the, what this happening in the Macy's um, back storage room or wherever the hell they were in Macy's. All of these different things have happened to these people allegedly, and they've happened to them over some decades and, and even longer than that ago. And all these years, these people have had to just move on with their life and see him dang near everywhere. Oh, did he produce this? Oh, did he help with this? Oh, did he got another party? Oh, did he got the awards? They didn't have to deal with seeing this sucker all these years, all this time. And look at all these dang crimes. And then on top of all the other, what is it, another 200 victims that it came for? And they, they're going from kids age from nine and all the way up. Like, what the hell? And honestly, this is what I want to say. For those victims allegedly who are under the age, the nines going up to 17 or 18, whatever you want to do, their parents should be in trouble too. You allowed your child to be around Diddy or you allowed your child to be around somebody who bought him around Diddy, who did whatever they did. You need to get in trouble too. And if that girl's story is accurate, when she was talking on Twitter, I can't think of her name right now, but there was a young woman who had a story and she said that she was part of the foster care system and that they had been, you know, taking the foster care kids the ones who don't, you know, get put anywhere and taking them to these ditty parties and stuff. And she said that she had been saying this stuff for years. Now you have reporters and stuff all coming after her and her friends and stuff and tell us your story. No, she been trying to tell you that story. So now she's like, I don't even want to talk to y'all no more because I've been trying to tell y'all what was happening to us. Nobody was listening. Y'all thought we was playing or he was paying y'all off and y'all didn't want to listen. So I think that that's honestly what's happened to a lot of these people. When you think about them having to basically cut a blind eye to what has happened to them, a trauma that has happened to them, all because this pervert has money and influence, that's not right. So honestly, anybody who comes forth, if they can tell their story and it's accurate, I don't know if they have to have them do a lot of technical tests or what, but when you think about that, you just think about you, your, your own existence, your own life. If something, if something traumatic has happened to a lot of us, but if something happened like that and you weren't able to voice your opinion and say what you needed to say, that's some messed up stuff for all these victims to go years without being able to say nothing. Or the people who they did tell, it fell on deaf ears and they weren't able to do nothing. It's a shame that it took place in 2023, lightweight 2022, but 2023 for sure, for the ball to drop on this sucker to start opening doorways for everybody else. Now we're going into the industry with these kids on TV shows and all this. It's just some sick stuff going on out there. And you have to be more careful. If you are a parent, please be careful. Please do not just let your child go roaming and go everywhere. They can't go to all their friends' house. I'm sorry. It's never been cool. It ain't old. It's 2024. You can't go. No, no, no. It's never been cool like that. It's never been cool like that. And honestly, if you're one of these parents who are dropping your children off at the Diddy's house and stuff, well, they're, they're getting great exposure. They're going to be on television. If that's you, then you need to be locked away as well, for sure. Honestly, if you're not going to be there every step of the way with your child, if you're not going to be in every effing room that your child is in, there's no point for you to even try to set them up for failure because that's all you're doing. I'm not going to say that that happens to a lot of the children or all the children, but it happens to a lot of them for sure. It doesn't happen to all of them, but it happens to a lot. And with that being said, it's more of the children getting things like this did to them and grown people getting stuff like this did to them. That hotel, Macy's, everybody should be in trouble. That hotel, they who got paid 50000 some of them people need to get in trouble too. Whoever was in charge at the time, you need to go ahead and get in trouble too. 
All this stuff could have been stopped years ago. If somebody would have said no, if somebody would have said, hold on, this is not right. This brother needs to go down for what he is doing, or at least the world needs to know what he is doing. If people would have been did that and stepped up and showed us that recording of Diddy a long time ago, even though a lot of us who already know the real, Ben knew what we were looking at with Diddy. Like, nobody was really taking him. I, I just can't take that brother serious, to be honest. Like, his whole existence... Once some things started happening back in the day, I was just like, yep, you are not a trustworthy person. And then look at all this crap that didn't happen. No, he's not a trustworthy person. But the parents should also get in trouble. But I just want to say that it's so messed up that these people have to go years and years without any type of justice. Hopefully they all get some justice coming up soon or in the recent, you know, recent months and years and stuff like that. Because honestly, the past, they haven't gotten anything. They've gotten slapped in the face. And if you don't understand what I mean by saying slapped in the face, when you are steady going on vacations, when you are dating people like Lori Harvey, who is now going quiet all of a sudden, when you date people like that and out there showboating and living the best life and stuff like that and going on TV shows and going on, you know, podcasts and stuff like that, like you haven't done a thing, he knew he was wrong. And that's why when he came out and was at that award ceremony and thanking Cassie and, 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 and Kim Porter and stuff, rest in peace to her. But Lord, we are, no, no. Somebody should have been took his butt down. But all these nasties, you got parents in here, you got the nasty other celebrities that, you know, don't want my secrets out because y'all was out there doing the nasty too and doing it in this house, thinking that this was a big old sleepover and stuff. You guys are all nasty and all of y'all who's involved deserves to get in trouble. Drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this and I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully.